Hi everyone, welcome to Relatively Sane. I'm trying to put in some energy so that you guys can get it from me. Like if you hear me talking like that, it might make you feel better. Like, welcome to Relatively Sane. No, that's horrible. Let me try another one. Welcome to Relatively Sane. No, that's really, like I sound like I should be in a mental institution. All right, let me try a normal one. Hi, everyone. Welcome to, ugh. Okay, I just literally talk so high that there's dogs running towards me. Ugh, what a hard time. What is going on? What is going on? All I know is, is that we're all going to be okay. I truly believe that, that we are all going to be okay. But boy, it's fucked up right now, isn't it? And I'm so glad that you are listening to my podcast because we need to be silly. We need to laugh. I mean, I know how hard it is. Trust me. But somehow I can get to that place a lot, even when I'm in a horrible situation in a horrible place in my life, I can just laugh about it. And I really encourage you guys to laugh about it. I also encourage you to eat biscuits. They are, how amazing are biscuits? Did you ever like warm one up and then pull off the layers? Oh my God. It's like sheets of biscuit and fat and flour. And then I slather butter on it. And my, my fear I eat, I just, I eat all my emotions. I know a lot of you do, but I really am trying to take care of myself. And um, I know it's not easy. It's just not. These are some things I'm doing. So I've been listening to, um, you guys are going to crack up because I'm obviously Jewish. I mean, not obviously, I don't have horns, but I'm, I'm Jewish. And, but I've been listening to Christian music, which is so fucking crazy. Uh, I can't even believe it. Just every time they say Jesus, I'm like, eh. you know, I just can tune it out. Um, not that I'm against Jesus if he's your Lord and Savior. I'm really not. I just don't follow him. I mean, no one does because he's not here, but people did. And I don't understand it because he was Jewish, too, and supposedly we killed him. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, um, I really have been doing that. I've been learning how to breathe. I tweeted the other day, remember to breathe. And I put it on Facebook. It is so important to remember to breathe. And I've been doing that a lot. And I've been meditating. It's so crazy. I never thought I could. Um, It's great. I close my eyes. I listen to some music. I breathe. I think about my disturbed childhood. And then I go eat a sheet cake. All right. I'm so glad you follow me. I'm so grateful Please, everyone, keep in touch. Follow me on social media. Join my Patreon. You get the podcast early, and I've been posting other stuff on there. And I have some shows coming up on Zoom that I'll be posting on my social media, on Instagram, Jesse Curson, on Twitter, Jessica Curson. You can go to jessicacurson.com. You can go to YouTube. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, youporn.com slash Jessica Curson slash um, trauma victim. And it's really, really great. It's really hot. I love you all. I am sending you all the biggest hugs. And uh, stay, stay strong. Really stay strong. We'll all get through this together. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Relatively Sane. I am here with one of the funniest people I know, Kyle Dunnigan. Thank you, uh, Jessica. I could say the same thing about you know who. Nikki Glazer. No, you are one of my favorite, favorite comedians <laughs> of all time. And uh, I know we're talking really? to your fans That's right now, so they know. Compliment. But if someone just randomly, I mean, we did a show at the cellar in um, Las Vegas, and I, I think I quit comedy that night. I think I quit doing stand up. I think I after, laughed. Uh, half to do after Kyle, I laughed at you all weekend. <laughs> I was with the fucking piano and the whole thing. It is you, I said to Noam, who owns the Comedy Cellar, he has my exact, like the sense of humor that I love. And he go, he said, I love him. Like he loves that's, you. I told that's you very that. Sweet. that I would say I had one show out of the 19 that was good. There was, <laughs> in the my 40, defense, 50. I had to go on first. <laughs> and I was after like yeah, a riffing Mark Cohen, which is, you, you've got to really bring it after that. Because he was doing audience stuff, and then I would go up and be like, 
and old jokes, which are tough to follow. Like, but old, it's my responsibility. But I'm I still need to like be able to handle that, and I I don't think I did quite well. I think SD was like, uh, you need to be better. No, do you get on yourself for a long time about one show? Are you like that? I'm not judging. I'm asking um, seriously because some people really beat themselves up. It depends on the really show. Not up. really. I don't really beat myself up hard. But if it's a show that I feel like I had a, I was important or something, or someone was in the audience that I wanted yeah. to impress, then I'm like, oh, I'm bummed out. It's the worst. It's the and you can't redo it. I mean, now we don't have to worry because we don't do stand up anymore. I, but, don't really miss it and it's weird and i know a lot of comedians do yeah what i how are you feeling you know i didn't miss it for yeah. months and i was like this is weird i literally don't miss it yeah. at all now i miss i have to be honest i did a show last night inside for the first time since oh March one of those like a zoom 14th. show or was it, and it I've done Zoom shows, but this was inside on Long Island, and it was socially distanced, and I was not near anyone. I was like, really, <laughs> sounds back horrible. The that sounds like a went, horrible setup. It it sounds horrible. It was better than yeah. it sounds. Like meaning, I stood on this kind of balcony inside, and there were, there were a bunch of people sitting in the restaurant, but way yeah. in front of me, not near me. But I got to tell you, it felt so good to hear that energy of people inside together oh, okay like yeah. the laughter because when you do shows outside which i've done for cars yeah which is yeah. fucking horrible I, my, my I, first I, tv you know your first tv show you're very nervous like your whole family yes goes, i did the, this mtv beach house do you remember that show did you do yes, it yes i know beach out yeah I, no, I didn't do it, but that was your first I was game. beyond nervous in my head. I was out of my body, scared. Yeah. And then you had to walk out on a balcony. And then there's people sitting on the balcony, you know, the porch with you. And 11 a.m., so the sun is like right in your face. You're like this. Oh. And then this, <laughs> it was a disaster. Anyway. <laughs> you did stand up for like five minutes in that in 11 yeah. o'clock in the sun yes yeah. um that was my first thing yep it's just I bad so you don't miss performing i at all? really like making videos like i i found that that's what i like doing way more i mean i don't not like stand up i'm glad that i can do that i can do it and here and there but i don't i definitely don't miss the traveling i had a whole tour and i was partially thankful that um, a worldwide pandemic happened. No, but like I was partially like I was relieved that I didn't have to do it. Well, I agree. I had a tour. You felt also, relieved, and I was like, "Yeah, a part of me." Because I was getting to the point, which is weird, because I've been doing this like you. I mean, this is my twenty-first year of traveling. I started immediately yeah. going on the road. Um. But being in airports and on airplanes and alone on the road was starting it to kill is, me. Like before this happened, I was like, this is not, I'm not doing well with this well, whole situation. It's really psychologically a, a tough thing to handle. If you, if you yeah. think about it, you are alone for 23 hours. Then you have mm -hmm. too much attention for an hour. Then you're alone for 23 hours. Then you have too much attention for an hour. And do that for too five much. days. You start to Way too much. feel yeah. just like you're an alien on some planet. And it's with inappropriate people <laughs> who mean well, right. but it's a Very lot inappropriate, a lot of touching. I mean, you do this whole show. You're like, yeah, you're you're I do a whole show. I'm so nervous beforehand. Then I'm like exhausted after sweating. And people are like coming up to me, like fingering <laughs> me and like, I mean, I like, like spitting all over me and drunk. I'm like, this is I'm yeah. being assaulted and, for and no then money. Try to eat well. Try. Oh, forget it. Like, you go to the club and they're yeah. like, do you want a double fried Oreo cookie for dinner? Or do you want <laughs> just like, like um, do, you, do you have anything that's green and not just battered? And they're like, no, we don't. Yes, that's, ex no, yeah. Um, hi, so we have chips. We have nachos. We have, um, do you have anything healthy? Well, we have like, I mean, hummus with peanut yeah. with butter on it. And like, yeah. we have, yeah. Do you have any fruit? I mean, like lime wedges? Yeah, the um, confusion on their face when you say, do you have anything that's like relatively not going to kill me? They just go, the chicken wings are kind of healthy. You know what? That is the funniest <laughs> thing, Kyle. There are so <laughs> many places in this country where you're like, do you, <laughs> do you have anything that's healthy? Well, I mean, nachos have ground right. beef. That's good for you. They're not. That's good for you. <laughs>
<laughs> don't miss it. Salsa is like a salad. Yeah, salsa is right? wet salad, right? <laughs> wet. Can I be salad. handsome, Kyle? I feel way more comfortable and confident from like yeah, this. Yeah. So Kyle is okay. So some of you are just listening to this, and some of you watch it on YouTube. Kyle just made himself look more I handsome, got handsome. Which, yeah, you kind of look like some of my ex girlfriends. <laughs> he has a goatee. <laughs> They were hot. I don't know them. But they were hot also, his that. background is Neverland. Yeah. I can change. If this which bothers is people, me. I can change the background. If people are no, no one is going to get bothered. But I love the Neverland. I, I like that's the name of the world right now. <laughs> the, that's what I can also think this. Of. I mean, I could do this. Oh my God, that is so. Is that Neverland? Really? Such a terrific place. So many terrific kids. So much fun. There's a tree fort. There's a roller coaster. Terrific. I could do that. <laughs> I mean, I could be a robot. Can I please ask you a, a question and you do Trump, uh -huh. please? Yeah. I'm going to be Melania. Okay. I also have a real looking Trump. But as a whole. Yeah. yeah okay. I'm going to you get Trump if you need to. Take your time. We can talk. I will do Melania and let's talk about the garden <laughs> outside <laughs> that I'm going to build. I'm building. The whole Melania, world is what are you doing? blowing up. Melania, and what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Look, <laughs> we have gardeners. Okay, what are you doing? I want to build the garden because I love it, the trees and the bushes. That is the biggest waste of time. Why don't you raise our boy? <laughs> well, um, I haven't seen him in a long time because I have to make sure I What's look What's his him. name again? Uh, Brandon? Brandon, right. Brandon. Terrific. Such a terrific little boy. Look, I'm not good. Like the riffing, I, I didn't have a good riff. That was just. You're not good. That was. Just, I started laughing. Anytime I laugh in a yeah, that sketch. That was a bad riff. I love that, that I just called that a sketch. Cut it out. I'm just... What are you talking about? What's his name again? It's one of the funniest <laughs> things I've heard you say. I could also be a girl. This that looks just like my sister. <gasps> Kyle. Are you getting these on the internet somewhere or did you create uh, this app? I, I need to know. I got it on the internet. I, I make the faces. I can make them. Like, I will bring in a face. Like, I was saying, I can make you, which I do want to do. Um, but it just takes. Yeah. Right now, this is what's happening. So, we are video recording it, but I today is one of the days I've given up oh, emotionally really? and that. physically okay. and what's spiritually. Happening? So I did it. I just put my hair up. I didn't put makeup on. I'm like, I'm going to do the podcast. I'm going to get through it. I can't wait to talk to Kyle. It's just I didn't feel like making myself look like I did someone's podcast yesterday and she looks so yeah. hot. She was like, had tons of makeup on, low cut shirt. And she's like, so when did you get into comedy? I'm like, I'm going to come. Like, this I, is. I don't, I don't think you, I don't think you good. You look, you look like you're like not, look, you're that's not glammed sweet. up. But, but like, never glammed but like up that's unless almost, I do TV. like if you did that, that would look like you were trying too hard. That would be less hot. You're right. I think you're doing, I think you're killing it. Like, you're right. You're right. I go, Thank I you. go the same way. Like I don't try. And then people can go, I bet if he tried, he might look good. That's what. That's the zone we need to be in. <laughs> Me too. I've. Do you know how many older Jewish people been like? You have such a pretty face. Just lose the rest of the up. weight. I love your. You little. You need a little eyes concealer. I love your, um, video you do with um, uh, Rachel. So Rachel. Funny. Rachel and I laugh so hard during those Yentas videos that I can't we can't. Believe you go in public. I, we were talking that. about it the other day how yeah and how hostile we are to each other we were laughing on the phone the other day because our grandmothers were so hostile <laughs> like my grandma would be like what's going on with work i'm like why are you yelling at me but it wasn't she wasn't yelling just just yeah. how they talked how was how where did you I grow grew up in connecticut um which is so boring it's like the end of a conversation oh. where'd you go connect though in this dead <laughs> silent your response was perfect where'd you go connecticut <laughs> mm-hmm there's nothing there. Let's get handsome, oh. handsome cows. Can you imagine where were where did you grow up? Connecticut. Oh, let's discuss 9/11. Um, Wasn't that near 9/11? Oh, you look, you do look handsome. If anyone can watch this on YouTube, you need to watch this because he oh, looks so. <laughs> he looks like Russ Manee. Yeah, a lot of you don't know. Or who like that is. a handsome Joe Matarese. Remember Joe Matarese? Yes, that's probably who I was thinking of. 
Those are yes. comics. Yes. Um, yeah, now they're swim instructors, but they yeah, were yeah. comics before the a lot pandemic. Of comics going down. In well, what way? <laughs> you mean being can? <laughs> well, in all ways. You mean yes. being canceled? Yes. How do you feel about the whole thing? I, we don't have to talk about any names, but I'm curious how you feel because I have a very strong opinion about it. Well, it's such a. Uh, I, I honestly like don't have enough information. I'm one of the people who I like, just read yeah. headlines and I'm horrible to like ask about the situation because like I don't yeah, know me enough. too I think we need to deal in facts for sure and I think sometimes we get away from that and I think um that's that's what I think and I'm running for president on that platform what do you good your thoughts <laughs> well I you're I completely agree with you with not knowing facts because like it's like politics sometimes when people talk to me I'm like I'm gonna do the responsible thing and get out of this conversation right. Because I have no idea what you're talking about. I've never even heard of that. I think it's the happened. smartest thing, even in, in all topics, like yeah. in re religion. I think the smartest thing is to go like, mm -hmm. I have no idea. That's one I have no idea about. That's a very intelligent about. person that just admitted that. Right. <laughs> I have a problem with news coming out and that's it. What do you mean? And the whole swarm of people going, cancel him, yeah. cancel her. Like without knowing the facts, I agree with what you just said completely. I do believe uh, because of certain things, certain people should be responsible and be uh, um, held responsible. But it's like the facts don't even come out yet. It's just this is what someone said, and that's yeah. it. You're done. And you, I understand because so much comes at you. There's so much that it's hard to it's go. I'm insane. gonna do a deep dive, Google, and spend an hour, and I, I don't do it. And I think a lot of people don't do it. And it's also um, kind of like our our tabloids now. Our, our, it was like Twitter and stuff. It used to be the Inquirer. It Inquirer, is Inquirer. It was the Inquirer. Yep. That's how you pronounce that. Yeah. I don't know if you know that. It was the Inquirer. Yeah, when we grew up. I would read your exactly. I would read those magazines or newspapers, and now it's yeah. all online. Yeah. But it, a lot of there's like, so many conspiracies like, remember going on. Remember, they used to too? just take a virgin up into the mountains and throw her into the, the volcano. Like they they build yeah. her up. You, those you were know, some like good for times. A year, they give her jewels, yeah. and she's just like queen. And then they throw her into the volcano. Just a fun thing that as yeah. humans we like to do that, and that's what we do with. Uh, a lot of celebrities some totally deserve it but some it's like there's an energy to do that real quick like oh yeah get him in the volcano yes <laughs> yeah well they want to bring you down i mean there's some people they just go after and that's they're on yeah. a mission it's so interesting what you just said you like so i was with someone who was borderline and it's very much like society is borderline, borderline right what? now. It's like you just borderline stop what? talking. Borderline oh, okay, personality yeah. disorder. I thought you meant on the volcano. Um, they were the borderline. Okay. No, no. It's like these people who um, they literally, if they're, they get upset with you, you have no idea what happened. They just stop talking. I'm sure you've dealt with this in your life oh, with a woman yes. or with friends. Yes. And they're done. And you're like, what the fuck happened? What did I do? They create all these yes. stories in their head. They a whole thing that never happened. And they um it's never yeah. their fault. Ever. Yeah. That if you look up borderline, that is what yes. you will see. Yes. And uh it feels like that. Like people are just like Yeah. They just yeah. cut yeah. people out. That's it. Without even discussing and there's it or fear there because it can just you can just your whole career. I mean, I just think about Chris Lee and I'm like, oh my god, like he was on the top and then just completely went to zero. Huh? Louis, Louis, yeah. I mean, it's the, and then there's some people who go through it and that's you never hear about it again. It's like, interesting. Okay. Part of it, it's it's like if people like you. <laughs> They that those people get through yeah. easier. If people don't like you, like I feel like people didn't Kyle, like Crystal so in general. True. That he just, and so the energy right. at him was like heavier. Like Jeff Ross yes. got accused, and like You're people so, like him, and so it didn't really stick I, as much. 
That's what I just yeah. thought of. I mean, it happened yeah. to me. I, you didn't see it, but it happened well, to me like last you. week. People like you. Well, that's what happened. <laughs> I mean, I've worked so hard on my reputation, but someone put up a video from four years ago. It was yeah. a nightmare. I got yeah. attacked by a lot of people. Some of them I was willing to talk to and hear, and some of them I was like, "Yeah, you're fucking yeah. nuts, and this is not even about me. I don't even know why you're contacting me. Just random people that were out to get me. Um and the comics went nuts and wrote, you got to be kidding me that you're doing right. this to Jessica. Like, we're not allowing yeah. you to do this to her. And it yeah. stopped yeah. within 24 hours. It was it. Yeah. I, I never saw that one more thing about it. That, that 24 hours. God. Oh, it was horrible. God. It was horrible. Is that why, is that a part of the reason why you don't miss stand up as much because of the PC culture? And like, are you, no. do you feel silenced I think it's or would you not silence yourself? I always felt like I was wedging myself into stand up. Like, I, I came to be, like, when I went to New York, I was, like, I was in improv and sketch groups. I do characters and impressions. And then I was like, oh, yeah. there's no money in this. There's zero dollars, unless you get yeah. on SNL, which is like saying, unless you win a lot, lot lottery. A couple right. of spots, so yeah. um, I was like, "Oh, let me do stand up." Because I did that in high school. When I was in high school. Some friends were like, "Do stand up at the talent show, which starts in twenty minutes." Oh my! And God. I was such, and still have to work on this. Where I do kind of whatever people tell me to do. I mean, I was raised by a mother who was like, "You're taking tap and jazz with me." I took tap and jazz with my mother when I was fourteen because she just told me to. <laughs> yeah. oh, I didn't want Kyle. to. But I know, but were you embarrassed yes, by that? I was humiliated, but I never thought to I know, say anything. That's... I never thought to go, I don't want to do this. Yeah. I was voted class clown and I got really upset. And I, I, I literally cried because it's like eighth grade, you're 12 years old. And I realized women look at me as a clown and it was, it was upsetting. I get, get it, it. At, at, yeah. at the time. I do. I my get that. My mother knew I was upset, yeah. but then filled my room with clowns. Like my room was filled with clowns, which I hated. And I never said, please get these clowns out of my room. They're upsetting. So I'd wake up every morning to look, all these oh, clowns. Kyle. And one of the clown was reading the Wall Street Journal. Journal he was crying. Like he had stock that wasn't doing well. Anyway, why did I bring this up? There's a reason. I don't know, but that's an incredible and vision of a clown crying with the Wall Street Journal. Because I'm sure there's a lot of clowns right now that are crying while you're reading the Wall Street Journal. And what are they buying? You know yeah. what I mean? Like stock. Yeah. Big shoes. Big big shoe stock is down. So oh, there's here's why I brought it up. Because so I was just told do stand up. So then I just started to do stand up. And I'm wedging wow. in and for I don't know, two decades more than two decades, I was always doing this thing that I didn't feel like I was ever gonna be great at. I, was, I, I can do it, you know. But I should be doing I think you're great at it, but I understand the passion probably. Like you like it, but it's not as big as doing yeah, like, the other I like stuff. writing yeah, like sketches. Like uh, mm -hmm. stamp is a monologue, basically. It is not quite exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad I can do it, and I'm I'm sure I'll do it again. But I'm trying to now focus on like what I really want to do, and that's I don't know why I brought the story up. I hope you can tell me. Well, we were talking about I think how you start like how you grew up with your parents and the clown thing i mean i you had to take that late happened i was thrown into therapy i had to go to therapy groups and therapists cons because my mom was a therapist oh. so and it was very embarrassed it was just like it was really Do you think embarrassing. it helped you though ultimately, ultimately. Boy, it's a tough thing. I think that I became very aware at a very early age, but too aware. Like I see everything. That is a problem. I know you're like that well, too. We're, we're. I don't walk with blinders on. I see if someone is two blocks away crying, I'll see them. I'll I'll see the person. Like I just see I everything, think, and I feel well, everything. We're. So. That's a very um, painful place because we're. I think in an mm -hmm. evolutionary stance, you step back and look at the evolution of human beings. We're mostly monkeys, 99% monkey. And we're, we just, we're the first species to figure out we're gonna die like pretty quickly. And we're very aware of ourselves. Mm -hmm. We can think about and ruminate on our story. And yet we're, mm -hmm. we're at the very beginning. So of course it's like incredibly stressful. We're not smart enough to really handle it. We're just giving this all this information. So we, 
I, I think you're right about being too aware. It, the happiest people now are the people who are, I don't want to say dumber, but like not thinking. They, they are things. not aware. I'm, I'm being, I'm serious. Like I'm, I can honestly say on here that I'm, Danielle, who I'm married to, does not see anything. <laughs> like she, I'll be like, um, this is going on. She's like, I don't care. I don't want to know. I just want to take care of my yeah. children, you know, yeah. be happy. That like, sounds great. But I, it's, I know. I mean, is, is everything, do you deal with depression and anxiety or do you like in your I life? I go heavily. You... I'm a, I'm heavily into anxiety. I like that. I'm big, yeah. big anxiety. A lot of fan. us are. I like fear yeah. and I like anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for depression. I'm constantly like, you know, just yeah. white knuckling up a hill, morning mm -hmm. and then tossing in bed and up. There's no time to be sad about things for me. The choice I make. Yeah, I'm oh I've always been like you that way, but the during this pandemic, I've dealt with some serious depression at times and I'm like oh my god I feel bad for every person who has ever had this kind of like I didn't yes. get it yes but it's been at times where I can't get out of bed it's literally it's hard to walk to the bathroom or go downstairs I, I want to make an amendment to what I said this isn't me trying to yeah. jump on your bandwagon and be like you but I think it's because <laughs> you've stopped doing stand up as often because when I yeah. first first month or two of the pandemic, I got very depressed until I mm. threw myself into work. I mean, I literally don't from morning to night I work now and I wasn't doing that. And that allowed me to sort of get um, like, feels like there's a dark cloud. It's, it feels like gravity. Mm -hmm. It feels like you have more gravity on you, right? It, it does. Yes. Yes. It's exact. I felt so heavy. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. how I felt. Yeah. So when you do that, because you're you're incredible with all this. I mean, you guys have to check out his stuff on Instagram. I mean, it's amazing. Thank you. But do you look at it and say, "Where am I going with this in my <laughs> yeah, life?" Or because I do that a lot. Like I do these videos, and I spend a lot of time on some of them. And it's like sometimes the ones I spend no time on get so many views. It's I know insane. it's so upsetting. I mean, this last video I spent it, about 40 hours on. There's one coming out next week and I'm not exaggerating. I think I'm upwards of 60 hours on it. And I think. Which one is that? I saw a sample of something from. Kurt. I, there was a music video I put out yesterday. I told you and I loved song, it. And it's a full on music video. And I, I have to do <laughs> everything. And then. It just takes so I, I can't if you were here and watched, you'd you'd be amazed. I mean the lighting the yeah. green screen was three hours. And then I shot and then I realized it didn't work, so to go back and relight. I mean, there's just uh, and then just writing the song and producing the song and I I got help producing it. And this guy plays a guitar and like um so that and I got help from this other person who did like a graphic, but basically you know, there's when you do a music video, there's a whole crew. I mean, I did a shot where, you know, I yeah. recorded everything of myself and my ear was just sticking out of the cowboy hat weird. And so I had to reshoot the whole thing. Because there wasn't a director to be like. Right, because there's no one there to tell your, you. Your yeah. ear is weird. Like, you need all those people. <laughs> and I, I, you don't realize it. I know. I did something a couple weeks ago in a studio and there was no one there to help me. I There was no one there to help me put my ear thing in, my battery pack with the thing. It was all, I had wires all over me. I'm like, I don't know how to, the, the guy's like, well, we don't have anyone here yeah. that can help you. No one can. Hair, makeup. Yeah. It's such a, a, I used to look at a set and be like, let's have all these people. We're even standing around. And now I realize yeah. you need every single person there to make it. Yeah. A lot of people don't realize that. I mean, you've worked on a lot of TV shows. Like, how many TV shows have you written for? A uh, ton, <clears throat> right? Not, I haven't written for a ton, but I, um, I haven't. I mean, not that many. I mean, I, I've always felt like, excuse me, excuse me. I feel like <laughs> that's okay. That wasn't dramatic like at all. Cut out. I always feel like I get a job right when I need it. I don't want to cut lucky, it out. Like. Right when I'm like, yeah. how am I gonna pay? Oh, okay, every few years, but I don't feel like I haven't worked in a while. What was the last job I had? But was it inside Amy? No, Schumer? I worked on um, Sarah Silverman's show. I wrote on that, 
and I get acting jobs here and there, but um, yeah, I look at them like, how, uh, how, where is this going? Like you're saying, like, where is this going? Like, what am I doing? Sometimes I have those thoughts. I know. It doesn't matter, though. I understand what you're saying. When I go into action, I say this all the time on the podcast, but when I actually do something, even if it's a dumb 10-second video, I always yeah, feel that's better why I, yeah. that I did that's something. That's I'm always making videos, I think. It's also nothing matters, really. <laughs> I mean, you know that? You can just not it make it. You're not doing a month or do a ton for a month, and you step back and go, like, neither one of those things really matter but it none of it matters none of it i i said i was just telling a friend i'm like nothing matters. i said i feel like a doctor could be like we have to cut your foot off and i'm like all right like (laughs) nothing's even (laughs) facing me anymore it's it's just don't you find it equally upsetting and relieving to know that nothing matters it's there's a a zero sum game it is freeing which again is nothing matters Thank you so much to all of my Patreon members for supporting the podcast. All right, hold up. Could you take a little off off the P's? You're hitting them too hard. The uh, p- not p- action. Thank you so much to all of my Patreon members for supporting the podcast. Hold on. Now you're whispering Patreon. Is there a reason oh. you're whispering? Well, you said to take the p- Somewhere <laughs> like, in the middle. Okay, okay. You ready? Action. Thank you so much to all of my Patreon members. <sighs> Now you got to pause. For those of you who don't know, Patreon members, is that okay? Patre- <laughs> it was perfect. Why'd you stop? Oh, okay. Patreon members. Cut. Let's go back to the beginning. Thank you and so much. And action. Thank you so much to all my Patreon members for supporting the podcast. For those of you who don't know, Patreon members get early access to the podcast, ad-free episodes, and access to monthly live streams where we talk more about... All right, let's take it back to the beginning. That was perfect. Do it exactly like that. I just did it well, though, but why are you starting over? Thank you so much to all of my patron... Cut. (sighs) Why are you screaming? Because I'm just trying to get through this. Action. Thank you so much to all of my... Thank you so much to all of my Patreon members. For those of you who don't know, Patreon members get early access to the podcast. Perfect. Keep going. There's so many P's. Keep going. Keep going. Ad-free episodes. You could cut this out, right? For those of you who don't know, Patreon members get early access to the podcast, ad-free episodes, and access to monthly live streams where we talk more about being relatively sane. Hold up. Did we agree on monthly live streams? Yes, you told me I should do them because it'll get more members. I don't know how to do a monthly live stream. Don't you just talk in your phone? Uh, We'll figure it out. Come on, let's get through this. We have to go. We should speed this up. All right. Thank you so much to all my Patreon members for supporting this podcast. For those of you who don't know, Patreon members get early access to the podcast, ad-free episodes, and access to monthly live streams. We don't know what that is, but whatever. Where we talk about being relatively sane. If you want to join our fantastic community that is so corny, go to patreon.com slash Jessica Curson. That's patreon.com slash Jessica Curson. That's patreon. I think you said patriot.com. Go to petroleum. I mean, patreon.com slash Jessica Curson. That's patreon.com slash Jessica Curson. Patreon.com slash Jessica Curson. Thanks again. And cut. That's a wrap. Ugh. Right, because the thought of getting on a plane right now and doing what I did is so terrifying to me. Like, yeah, what were we doing? I, Kyle, I, I, I don't, and I have this day coming up in Oklahoma that's still on, supposedly. And I'm like, I've never even been to Oklahoma. Who is going to come to the show? I mean, I'm mm. petrified of flying. I, it's just, it's, it's very that's, weird. I went through about five, six years where I was so scared because it is insane to get on an airplane. I know mm-hmm. they're statistically very safe. It's still crazy. It is. Because just the, off chance things go wrong and you got this ex- these two exploding engines going rah, rah, just exploding with fire in them and now you can get and, a deadly virus oh yeah now you're on in a top tube. of it <laughs> yeah now you're in a tube oh my god i never want to do that again plus it's you know what it's the plummeting that i have a problem with i don't if I your know. plane is once it's like yeah 20 feet off the ground you can nose dive and smack and i don't, I don't really care right i don't want to plummet I don't want to plummet. I don't want to know anything. I want to shoot down and crash into the ground immediately. Uh, yeah. I don't want any explode. time to know. 
Oh God. One time I was on a plane, it was like, you know, just that turbulence where you're like, I was this close. Yeah. I swear to God of, of running to the cockpit and saying, turn around, which would have been, uh, I would have been tackled so hard. You're making, I, you would have been killed like on the but plane. I, but I was like, I'm going to die. anyway. I was I know. sure we were going to die. And I was like, we're going through a storm. You know, they're like, we're just going to try to uh, needle through the storm. You know, when they do that, like we're just going to, we got two fronts coming and try to needle right through the middle. And you're like, fronts. don't you're like, what's try a front? That. Why are you needling? We have two fronts. <laughs> if there's any chance. Oh, uh, hello. We have doing? two fronts coming from the back and the back winds coming from the front winds. Yeah. What? We got one. Uh, oh, there's like a, it seems like there's a, some kind of dinosaur out there blowing fire. <laughs> yeah. I so, love when they're trying to think of what to say. Uh, yeah. We're, uh, I kind of want to die myself. So <laughs> I'm going to try to needle um, these two. Suicidal. Thank you for flying JetBlue. Uh, <laughs> Because I, I, I was maybe two minutes into him needling through these two giant thunderstorms. Uh, and I was like, I have to go now and tell him because this yeah. is going to get worse. And we're so we're like flying <laughs> around like this. And I'm I'm making noise. You ever make noise that you didn't give yourself permission to? Yes, do? of course. Like, ah, when you're. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> all wow. to do, all to make, yeah. Yeah. do some comedy about the weird things at Costco I noticed or some dumb bits like you know, what, what am I even going to risk my life for but anyway I turned around and there's like a 13 year old girl reading a book like yeah that's happened like, to me oh. too like sometimes I'll be like I'm gonna die um, life has been good I'm gonna miss my kid and then I'll see one of the flight attendants like would you like in the first class <laughs> like would you like salmon or steak. And I'm like, oh, okay. Right. I'm having yeah. a nervous breakdown, but everything's okay. One time, Danny Cohen, you know Danny. He loves you. Yeah, Dan yeah. We were I on see. a flight from Reno. He's 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 okay. He had diarrhea for three weeks. Oh. Um, we were on a flight from Reno, which supposedly jumps because of the air, or we're like, you have to have to go really steep, yes. really fast. The two of us were in the back of the plane <laughs> holding on to each other like yeah. we were jumping from a fire i mean i'm not kidding we were screaming and crying both of us <laughs> hysterically crying saying i'm i love you you've been such a good friend i mean no you didn't went that i far. swear to god you were that's your how last the words. plane was slamming down going up slamming down and i both of us and he's not like i am like he doesn't get crazy but he he yeah. literally thought he was dying i mean that was he thought he was dying too yes we both did Oh my God! Yeah, people talk about. Aren't you afraid to go on stage? Like, like no, the flight there is this much scarier part. Do you ever grab a stranger's arm? Yes. <laughs> I, I'm a, I'm a grown man. I grabbed a man's arm. Like we need to be together on this. <laughs> I spooned an old woman. What? I spooned on a plane. An old woman. I'm joking. Why well, would I? That. Why would I think you? Why would I even think? I that don't know. It doesn't even make sense how that would even work. But Kyle, the honestly, I have. <laughs> the, this is the worst when you're having a nervous breakdown and freaked out and scared. You know when you turn yeah. to the person next and you're like, "Whoa, God, this is," and they're like, like they don't acknowledge. There's no. Yeah. Those people should fucking be tortured. I, I mean, they're already dead inside. So it doesn't even, <laughs> even bother them. You ever get? I was next to a woman who oh, you just get trapped with a stranger, <laughs> and I'm just in this tube with this lady for five hours, and she's pitching Jesus Christ to me. Yeah, you know, she's got pamphlets. Oh, I'm okay. Read. And I'm like, you know, you don't want to <clears throat> take the person out of there, make them angry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also cut that. You don't want to make them angry. So I'm just going along. And then she insults me. Now that was her big error. What'd she say? She said I was wasting my life doing comedy. So then in my head, I went, you know she what? She was right. Look at us. She was right. I'm that's the that's the tur twist of the story. She was making sense. But then in my head, I'm like, I'm not, I'm gonna now have an honest conversation. That that's which is mm -hmm. Looked at as aggressive, actually, because the person is in their hypnosis yeah. and you're dehypnotizing them and <laughs> they get very mad at you for just literally asking questions. Like I was yeah. 
you saying you go to hell if you don't believe in Christ. And I was like, what about like a three-year-old in Africa who died at three and they never heard of Christ? I mean, we got to that point and she said, there's the internet now. That was her response to me. So she thought a three-year-old should Google? Yeah. I mean, you know, those people, they don't want to hear, they don't want to hear any, there's no, with people like that, there's no discussion. No. There's you, no, it's, it's either that way or you're a sinner and a yeah. bad person. And, and the rage comes at you. It's not like, yes. they don't act like you're an idiot. Because if, if I have two, if I have a, a quarter behind my back and I go, there's a quarter in my hand and you go, I don't think there is. I don't get rageful at you. But if I don't feel the quarter and then you say there's no quarter, I'm going to start getting mad at you. Because if the, having the quarter means I'm going to heaven forever and not having it means <laughs> I'm, going, I'm not. <laughs> Like they're just mad that you're dehypnotizing them. Well, can you I imagine think. being that person's child? Oh, forget it. You you either have to like love Christ with all your heart or or hate your, you just have no relationship with your mother. Right. Your I mean, that's how, you know, it gets like that a lot with so many things, with religion, with ethnic stuff. I mean, there's I know Orthodox Jewish people who don't talk to their kids because they married someone Oh, it's I such know. a shame. Who's not Jewish I talked to or... somebody, and this was like, I know I'm not supposed to, and I know it's aggressive and mean of me, but if someone insults me, there's nothing I said to this lady. I go, if you were born on the other side of the world, you'd be talking to me about Muhammad right now. That's what I said to her. Yeah, that's Which very true. made her so angry. And now I'm sitting like in... in <laughs> We had like two more hours of this flight. Anyway, it was fun. I shouldn't have taken, what you need to do is just say, yes, thank you. Yes, thank you for these pamphlets. Yeah, thank you. you can't, you can't reason. I mean, it's what's happening now. There's peace. There's so many people on both sides. You can't even have a conversation or reason about anything because yeah. people are just set. Right. I lost a friend because it isn't a con it looks like a conversation mm -hmm. it sounds like a conversation but really it's you have to agree with everything i'm saying or you are my enemy and i will throw rage at you well i think that's more about their own stuff in addition to their feelings about what's going on meaning it's it's more yeah. than just what's going on it's Ab like oh absolutely what it else doesn't... are you fucking angry about that you need to deal with yeah like they have whatever their cause is and it's like I get that this cause is really important, but like there's, you know, five children died of starvation while we've been talking. Like, there's a I lot know. of causes. And if it's like your, I get your cause is important to you now, but like they need you to be like completely doing their cause. And it's, it's weird. And it's, it's happening more and more. Yeah. And, and they think that, you know, a lot of those people think you're on the wrong side or the bad side. I'm like, I'm I'm on your side. I'm just may not understand yeah. certain things or whatever. Like, give it a give it a minute. Or just you're busy, or you're you're, yeah. you're doing something like they were doing. Well, a I few did get. Ago. I did. You're gonna find this interesting. I did have a friend who got upset with me during a certain time that I didn't post certain things, and I got furious. I'm like, you're not oh. gonna tell me. First of all, why do you have so much time to fucking look at my social media? I wish I had that much time to take keep t tallies of what people were posting. Right. And also, yeah. why are you telling me what I should and shouldn't be saying? Like, yeah. Uh, who are you to tell me that? It's, it's a weird time. It's a very weird time. What do you think is going to happen? I love people. I think part are. of it has ener the energy of be everyone being trapped is fueling it. There's, I, it's like a perfect storm. And it then is. the presence making people feel uneasy. There's so many things. With there's a just... virus. I mean, let's just like there's a virus <laughs> and an election coming up with a horrible situation on both sides. Meaning I mean, there's 50 percent. I don't know how, what the percentage is. Who gives a shit? But yeah. our set in one way and like really believe it and think the other side is crazy and vice versa. It's like, it's so extreme. It's like the religious lady on the mm -hmm. plane that just, it's become a cult culture. We have the but, cult mentality with like teams. I hate, I don't like teams. I know. You know, and this is my team and I'm going to go everything this team says. There's so few people that are yeah. uh, 
just going by issue to issue and having an opinion about each issue. It's it's weird. I don't. I've always I, been like that. I'll always be like that. Yeah, I mean, I vote. I, I vote a certain way because of how I feel and my lifestyle and everything and what I believe. But I I do go issue to issue and have some some I'm more conservative about and some I'm more. I'm liberal. sure there's a reason for the two party system, but I just am not smart enough to understand. But I feel like it should be people come out yeah. and run for president. Like here is what all the things I believe and what I want to do. And there's no parties. It's just I think that might happen. I, I don't think this can let it can. Like one of the parties is gonna go down. I it, it can't work like this. Is so many of us are in the middle but on the way certain it's set things. up with the House and the Senate. Yeah, why do we have parties? I, I want that explained to me. Yeah, why? I don't. I have no, that. That's when I don't go into a conversation because I have no idea. I know we should do a pot like a separate podcast with someone where we don't know any information, but we we talk about the subject. That's my favorite thing. Like we know it all. Like, right, we know everything. No, the we, Republican Party, like it started in the seventies, and people. <laughs> we call the podcast Hunch. We just go by our gut. We got make... That's. So funny, Hunch. Welcome back to Hunch with Jessica and Kyle. Hunch, what's your uh, what's your question? You're on Hunch. Yeah, like you're who on built Hunch. the pyramids. Oh, there was these guys that like worked yeah. for the um, czar. I think was in Egypt. It was yeah, there was like some. And... I don't know. There were people like that helped out. They were called slaves, but I don't. Th I think they were just yeah willing they actually... and. Yeah, they wanted to build it, I think. <laughs> I was looking at pictures of that this morning. Do you think they were built by aliens? Do I? Yes. That's a fair, direct question I'm asking you. You're on the hot seat. This is a segment of our show, Hunch, where I put you on the hot seat. I think the hashtag should be, um, we're just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> or guessing. <laughs> <laughs> that, I think I would listen to that podcast. I would too. It's just, it's just insane. Guess. Two people who have no information guess what things. <laughs> <laughs> well, with the also with the two of us, it would go to the craziest places. Yes. Oh, absolutely. I do believe in aliens. <laughs> I do. In what I... way? That they're visiting and not showing themselves like they have invisible hovercrafts? I feel like I they've been here many, many, many times. I, I want I, to um, do have you? a counter to this argument. Okay. I think there is more of a chance of dimension jumping weird stuff because we did lose a ton of gravity during the Big Bang. They don't know. They think maybe felt folded into different dimensions. Mm -hmm. And we can only see, you know, we live in, in uh, three dimensions, three-dimensional space. So there might be things popping in and out I think that's more likely than a group of beings traveling. It's so <laughs> far. I mean, the closest star is four light years away. Isn't it insane? Now that's I the, love that's I love one. that shit. Like I've Googled the moon, the sun, I, that kind of shit. I think it's so interesting. But but think of think about an You're alien right. spacecraft being even at the closest star, <laughs> which they aren't, because we can see the, those those planets. Um we can't actually see them like close up. We know they're, they don't, it doesn't look good for that, for that star system. So, cause it's not in the Goldilocks zone, you know, the yeah. like where earth is. So imagine it took us five days to get to the moon going 18,000 miles an hour. 18,000 miles an Think hour. About now the moon is one light second away. So in is one that... light second, now imagine for four years, Going that fast, that far every second, that and then you get, and then you insane. get to the planet. Yeah. Okay. After traveling that distance, and then you're like, I'm gonna hide, <laughs> and just look. But you wouldn't. You'd be like, you're not gonna fucking believe what we just did. You come down. You probably take yeah. knowledge to be safe. I. Yeah, you'd, I you're like, right. I do understand what you're saying. That's my and theory. I and I was laughing before because I'm like, it seems so stupid to picture them like on a ship just all sitting in rows <laughs> oh that's a terrible like you're that's thinking of a very I... packed ship yeah like a packed spaceship we're all like we can't we can't wait to go down oh, when are you gonna do when you get there yeah, yeah. Like, you know just ordering what you drinks do you get there? <laughs> i would say like it would probably be hibernation chambers mostly 
what like you're saying is interesting. With, um, huh? I said what you're saying is interesting. But what do you think about all the counts of people saying I saw this? I saw because I've seen those and I'm like this sounds. I, I, my guess, and this is again on Take a Guess podcast, <laughs> is it's it's we're seeing glimpses into the other dimensions that do exist. And we just can't always see them. They, they pop in and out. There are things that are popping in and out as opposed to something in this three-dimensional space that's traveled that far and did nothing. I mean, I've seen oh. um, shit in the sky that will, that I can't explain it. And I know really? Like, I'm really into this stuff. Yeah, when I was like 15, we were on this lawn and there was a, a light going across, so two lights and they went across the sky, they'd meet and then they'd do right turns and they were so far up they That's the speed crazy. with it was just not nothing and and the the angular turns didn't make any sense so um yeah i i think i know that i don't know like, well that's everything. like what just so, came out uh, not just but with the with the um air force Right. I mean, did you watch? The, yeah. What, what did that say? Because I want to. I, I, it's I, insane. Yeah, I you have glanced. to watch it. They see it on the ocean. That could be another name of the podcast. We just glanced. <laughs> <laughs> Half assed. <laughs> we, we heard this thing. We don't like to read. Yeah, We can't read. <laughs> Welcome to we can't read. So what's the uh, what happened <laughs> with this? Because I just glanced. What well, I watched it a couple times. It's them talking about what they're seeing. It's fucking Who's crazy. Who's talking about? Who's they're talking in about planes, this? the Air Force, I guess. And they're just oh. dis they're discussing. Did you see that man? Jeez, what the fuck? And then like you hear them describing it and it's similar to what you like. It went so fast. You see mm. it. It's really crazy. Like it's not. Yeah. It's something. Oh, is that the um, jet fighter where they're it's kind of a black and white and they're like uh what is that and they're, is that the video yeah but this one was like holy shit man did you just see that turn how the how did he turn like that and he went so oh, i gotta fat google to, that yeah What's, what are my search words it's what you just said <laughs> those are my search words i like i like i really do like the idea of doing a podcast where we are completely clueless <laughs> and trying trying to figure out different facts <laughs> Let's see how many comments we get. If you'd like to see yeah. Jessica and I, we'll just do a one-time podcast. Yeah. We'll, we'll get um, questions that we don't know the answer to, and we'll Absolutely. We that. You can do a limited it, podcast. It, it would probably be, and I think we should say this, terrible. Oh, it's going to be the worst thing you've ever heard in your life. Time but... you couldn't get back. <laughs> You will end your life after listening. I to mean, me. I guess it would be bad. It would just be like listening to a nine-year-old and tell you about something where you're like, "Yeah, no, that's yeah, wrong." And it's so self-involved. Like it, do it doesn't help mm. anyone. It's literally us just talking about what we think. Yeah, it'd probably be bad. No, okay. I think it would be really interesting because I have. I do you believe in ghosts? Again, n n it's this. I think it's this. Well, I think it's a combination. Uh, Here's the thing. Our minds can see shit that's not there. Like we literally can do that. Yes. Okay, so you, you have to factor that in when you see a ghost, that your mind can actually do that. Now, is that more likely or is it more likely that someone who died, their image popped back into this world i'd say it's way more likely it's coming from our brains what we're seeing and we mm -hmm. also can get very i have a friend who is religious and she went down to this place in brazil where they you take you give them uh silver jewelry and mm -hmm. they dip it in this water that whatever and holy water and it turns comes out gold and she brought it back the the, the bracelet and told us the story and she goes i brought my silver bracelet down we dipped it in and now she pulls it out and she goes, it's gold. <laughs> and she passed it on the table and everyone's going, oh, wow, wow. And then it gets to her mother and she goes, this is silver, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> like we can see things. Do you know what I mean? You're, you're like, it's Carl. What, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I think it's more that than um, there's, images of people who died i don't but see I don't images of people who died but i yeah. 
have felt the energy of someone. Now, my dad passed yeah. three months ago. Oh, I'm sorry. And, oh, thank you. He had cancer because everyone says the virus, the, you know, thank God. Yeah, it, right. It's, um, yeah, right. But I have not felt his presence. Whereas when my grandmother passed, I did feel her. I don't, I'm not saying I saw her, but mm -hmm. I, I felt her around me. It was weird. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she I mean, was dying and I was sitting with her holding her hand and she saw my uncle, she's, which you, it could be what you're saying. She saw my uncle Seymour. It's such a great name. Um, it sounds like you made it up. I know. She's like, I see Uncle Seymour, my brother. He's talking to me. You know, he had passed like a year before. Uh, and it was weird. Yeah. yeah. But that could be what you're saying where she just pictured I him. don't. I think, it, again, it goes back to I have no idea. Yeah. I am mostly monkey and I'm just at this point in evolution that's enough. You can sort of be conscious of enough to it, where it's. I can't, it's so frustrating to be a person right now. I know. I think in, I think in a thousand years, if we're around or, or 10,000 years, they'll look back and feel kind of bad for our stage of evolution. We are like, not going to be around time. that long. I huh? know that sounds hard. We are not going to be around even close I to. I totally agree. Yeah. I mean, global warming. I, there is so much going on. Like a comic said that to me last night. He's like, I'm I'm still concerned about global warming. I'm like, holy shit, I forgot about that. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, I, it's. I think that's our biggest danger is we don't revere and listen to science. And and if you're, mm. <laughs> ah, I'm so sorry to your okay. listeners. It sounds. I got something in my throat. There's more than two, and you sound like you're in a nursing home. <laughs> it sounds very bad. I. What the f was I talking about? Science. Yeah, oh, like don't... with the global warming. Like we we. Okay, if you believe in in God, you know the the, the saying, I know it was a parable or what? But the guy who was on his roof in a flood, and he's mm -hmm. like, God, I I believe in you. Please save me. Guy comes by with a canoe. He's like, Hey, I'm gonna get my canoe. And the guy goes, No, God is gonna save me. And then the guy right. comes by in a in a big boat. And they're yeah. like, hey, come on, get the boat. He goes, no, God will save me. And then a helicopter says, no. And then he dies and he gets to heaven. He goes, what, what, why didn't you save me, God? He goes, I sent a canoe. I sent a boat. I, sent I, a I believe all that. I, yeah. I think if you look at what's happening, science is mm -hmm. God saying, follow this. It's it like is. the greatest thing yeah. we have. It's saved more lives. Mm -hmm. It's, you know... Every creature comfort you have is like from science mm -hmm. and, and scientific thinking and scientific method. And the fact that we don't revere what scientists say in a way like we pump up someone who is a holy man, he's a man of God, which is basically like he's a man of with no information. Yeah. He's a man with, with zero information mm -hmm. and he's revered, but a scientist who went to school for climatology. I, I know, I don't like, get I'm it. Gonna, I'm gonna float, not only, a scientist, first of all, is probably smarter than you, mm -hmm. smarter than me. If you're just going to be a scientist, that's someone who's thinking pretty They're hard. They're brilliant. Yeah. Really. And then you go to, and I'm going to, I'm going to focus on climatology. Mm -hmm. And then the way we do the scientific methods, we gather data, we send it off to different places to do their own research on it. And then those separate unbiased places come back and we came to this conclusion. Exactly. And then you print that paper and people go, I, I don't. I don't feel that warm. I wore a sweater I so, and that, it's I know. a hope. I, I don't we're understand. Screwed. We're screwed if we don't listen to science. I mean, just take a, a meteor is going to eventually come towards the earth. We need to, like, if we just elected people who were smart scientists, and, and that was a major factor, more than they have to be religious and believe in God, they've got to be a scientist, they have to have a scientific mind. And be open I mean, to learning anything. Absolutely, of reason and being, within reason, hedging yeah. things with I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, scientists are always looking to where am I wrong? Mm -hmm. Anyway, get me off my soapbox, Jessica. I'm sorry. I, I love you. No, I love that we're talking about this stuff because a lot of the podcasts are the same thing, and this is all very interesting to me. And you guys, like, really get in touch with us if you want us to talk about nonsense and just come up with things that we think. <laughs> Are real we'll we'll do it i mean i i'll do it easily yeah we'll do we'll do at least i mean we could do a one-time show yeah. see how it goes yeah and people... you could send us subject like literally you could just send us subjects and questions that you're curious about and we will wing it what's that we think <laughs> 
you know, we should cap it at only 10 people. We'll do a live show. Yeah, you can't do it with more it's, than. It's, it's, a, it's $10 for our live show. And there's only we five should people. do a live show. And then show. we'll split the fifty dollars. I get twenty five dollars, <laughs> or we can do a different split. We do a seventy thirty split. A seventy thirty split. Whatever you need. Um, yeah, I love I've, you. I'm I'm so glad. I, I you love guys you. Have got to watch. Where tell them where they besides Neverland. Where can people find you? Uh, when I'm not here, uh, Instagram <laughs> Kyle Dunnigan one. Yes, at Kyle Dunnigan one. I work so hard on my videos and I don't know why. I do love it, I guess. They but are no one's asking me to do things. Um, but yeah, I do like doing it. Well, I laugh at every single one of them. I love them. You're it's a treat for us. I see what people mean when they go, Thank you for doing that video. It made me laugh so hard today. I'm like, oh my God. I'm glad you liked it. I mean, it does yeah, help I, people because you're it, silly. I, I guess, you know, we are um doing something um I, I i just i try to uh seems like i don't know when you think about your life and uh what we chose to do like i don't know about you i didn't consciously think it but uh what we <laughs> chose to do was just be silly yeah and make uh that's what we chose yeah we ch I mean, and, that, and, and we've been allowed great. to do it and make money where we should be great i should be more grateful I, mean, I have moments to... of feeling very grateful. Yeah. And then the rest is absolute anxiety and fear. <laughs> the rest is death and destruction. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for doing the podcast. And we'll find Absolutely. out if people have questions. You can, a lot of you are on Patreon, whatever. Send the questions and let's see if we can come up Absolutely. with some answers for you. We'll try to figure it out. Yeah. Well, it's lovely seeing you. And I you wish, too. I mean, we could just have a, a face chat catch up. We should do that every month or something. We should. Going I'm going to reach out to you because I love yes. I love seeing you and I and you're amazing. You're in L.A., but I just I love when you're in New York. I mean, oh, by the way, what? that's another thing which you didn't deal with last night at 430 a.m. I woke up screaming, not what? like, yeah, but like, ah, from what the whole it was like a giant man just shook the house. It was an earthquake <laughs> in my house. Like I needed that on top of everything. In the middle of the night? Yeah, like four thirty AM. It was like yeah, 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 the whole that, house that just would, like would be in a home. rattled. Yeah, I would be in a home today. <laughs> 2020, great year. Great I, year. You're so being far. rattled. There's viruses. There's people are fighting. There's an it's election. Crazy. Yeah, I know. I'll I'll probably never see you again, but I really appreciate you doing my book. <laughs> I hope we do. We see will. Each other I'm going to text you. I'm going to get in touch with you. All right, good, because I've been pretty bad at it. I, I kind of isolate. I'm horrible. Um, I isolate constantly, but I've been trying to just reach out to people I like every day, a couple people. Oh, please reach out. I will. Yes. I promise. Okay. All right, honey. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye.